how are you viewers we have now reached b7 in our revision series of the november 2019 science paper one b7 reads figure b7.1 is a circuit diagram with two resistors connected to a three volt power supply okay figure b7.1 is a circuit diagram with two resistors connected to a three volt power supply so now if we look at if we look at our diagram we have the three volt power supply there we've got an ammeter connected there we've got a two ohm resistor connected to another two ohm resistor and an open switch remember the switch is open because the switch is open current does not go around the circuit because current will only go around the circuit if this switch is closed okay so take note of uh, that point the switch is open okay so we head to our questions let's head to our questions and the first question is identify the type of circuit arrangement of the resistors shown in the circuit above identify the type of circuit arrangement of the resistors shown in the circuit above they want us to state whether the resistors are connected in parallel or in series now how have the resistors been connected we can see that one end of the resistor one end of the resistor is connected to the other end of the other resistor so when one end of a resistor is connected to the other end of a second resistor whose uh, terminal is connected to another circuit component not to the same resistor this is called a series connection so the two resistors in here have been connected in series so these resistors are connected in series so we can write that one down so the resistors are connected in series so they are they are connected they are connected in series sorry in series so keyword series they are connected in series one mark mm -hmm. then we go to question b7b b7b and it reads calculate the total resistance in the circuit calculate the total resistance in the circuit now here the circuit both resistors in a circuit are two ohms so what we're going to do is we're going to remind each other over the formula for calculating the total resistance for resistors connected in series now we know that for resistors connected in series the total resistance is equal to the resistance of the first resistor plus the resistance of the second resistor because they are just two if there were three you would have said plus the resistance of the third resistor if there were four again plus so it just goes on so here our formula will be the total resistance is equal to r1 plus r2 now it means that the total resistance is equal to 2 ohms plus 2 ohms so 2 ohms plus 2 ohms 2 ohms plus 2 ohms gives us 4 ohms so the total resistance r total is equal to 4 ohms so the total resistance is 4 ohms so we write that there so we're going to say the total resistance is equal to 4 ohms 
that's all. So the total resistance there is 4 ohms. We go to the the C section of D7 and it's saying calculate the ammeter reading when the switch is closed. Now remember you can even hear the examiner asking you it's now stating that the switch is closed. Now current can flow through the circuit. When it was open, no current was flowing. So you couldn't calculate the ammeter reading. Or you couldn't find the current flowing through. Okay. Now, ammeter. An ammeter is an electrical device that is used to measure the amount of current flowing through a circuit. Okay, so here the ammeter, the word ammeter is just asking us to calculate the current flowing through the circuit when the switch is closed. So what do we need to calculate the current? Remember Ohm's law? Ohm's law states that uh, the potential difference across a circuit component is directly proportional to the current flowing through it provided the temperature remains constant. The potential difference across a conductor is directly proportional to the current flowing through it provided the temperature remains constant. Now what that means is that it means that uh, potential difference V is equal to I multiplied by the resistance. Okay, V is equal to I R. Now here we are looking for the ammeter reading. Now when we change and make I the subject of a formula, what we're going to have is I is equal to is equal to V over R. So we have the V, which is the EMF from the battery, okay, or from the power supply. So we have three volts and we have the total resistance, which is four. So what we're going to do is we are now going to say I is equal to 3 divided by what? 4. Now what is the 3? Three? 3 is 3 volts. 4 is 4 what? 4 ohms. That is what is there. Now when we say 3 divided by 4, we just mean 3 quarters. What is 3 quarters? 3 quarters is 0 0.75. So I is equal to 0 0.75 amperes. Don't forget the units, 0 0.75 amperes. So we're going to say I is equal to 0 0.75 amperes, capital A, not small letter A. And that brings us to the end of this question. Remember, if you want to continue seeing these videos, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much. See you next time.